Teacher Ray here. I'm back to answer another of your How All Group Class Teaching questions. Yay! <laughs> During this episode, I'm going to share some ideas for communicating with our students through the use of modeling. Here's the question that was submitted. What should I do when I have gestured, used TPR, and spoken slowly, but the student still doesn't understand what I am saying? Many of you are probably thinking that this teacher should use the translation tool in the chat box, right? Not necessarily. There's another option. Modeling. Modeling is a sort of follow-the-leader approach that often includes visual aids. For example, when asking new or low-level students to circle something on the lesson page, one way to model the activity would be by authorizing the student pens, then circling the items yourself as you gesture and verbalize the instructions. Like this. Here's a level zero activity. Circle the books. Circle the books. <laughs> Modeling may sometimes require giving away an answer or two, but we can't expect our students to understand how to do something until they know exactly what they're being asked to do. For dragging activities like this I Have Many Toys lesson, also from level zero, you can model the process of dragging. Oh, here's a tip for giving the impression of movement. Drag the item a short distance and release it. Then drag again, release, drag, release. This drag release process is stop motion animation. To your students, it will appear to move. While dragging, you would repeat the word drag, as well as using the drag gesture. Drag, drag, drag. This activity is not just a dragging activity, is it? No, it's a drag and say activity. So how about sentence creation? Modeling works there, too. In fact, you can select a student to act as your shadow for this one, thus modeling the entire process of creating a sentence and showing all of the other students that it can be done. Start by selecting a student at random and dragging them onto the lesson page. You do not need to start with your highest student nor your lowest. You can start with any student. Then verbalize your sentence, typing it on the lesson page as you go. For lower level students, stop typing after each word so that it appears on the lesson page and encourage the lower level student to repeat after you one word at a time as the words appear. For this activity, you would do something like this. I, I, Want, want, a, a, doll, doll. See? With older students, you don't have to verbalize the sentence at all. You can simply type the sentence onto the lesson page and simply ask the student to read what you wrote. Then ask the student to provide a new sentence, like this. I have to brush my teeth before I go to bed. Now what's your sentence? I have to do my homework every day. This example of modeling shows your students both what a sentence is and how to use the vocabulary within a sentence. You can continue the modeling technique by adding the student sentences to the page as you go along. And as each student answers, I would add theirs. Modeling can be used for questioning too. Say you want to know what, if any, instrument your students play. 
You can model how to answer by answering it yourself. Like this. I play the guitar. Mm -hmm. See? You can illustrate your answer through gestures, as I just did, or by holding up and playing an actual guitar, or by sharing a picture of you playing the guitar. Mm -hmm. Try it yourself, and you'll soon agree that modeling is a powerful and effective teaching method. That's all for this episode. It's time for a wrap up. My advice for this teacher, or rather all How OGC teachers, is to use modeling to help your students understand your instructions. Through modeling, your students see not only what you're asking them to do, but also how to do it. Modeling is an instructional strategy based on the natural process of learning through observation. This makes modeling an especially valuable tool for how OGC teachers. So I want to take a moment and thank this teacher for submitting the question that led to this episode about modeling. Thank you. What would you like to see featured on a future episode? Click on the survey link below and ask Teacher Ray. <laughs> See you next time. Goodbye. I use a spoon to eat ice cream. What do you use a spoon to eat? What is this? This is a keyboard. What is that? That is My favorite fruit is the banana. <laughs> What's your favorite fruit? This is my math worksheet. Can you show me a worksheet? <laughs> 